Effectively managing rates and availability while watching all the different key performance markers takes training and talent. You need to understand revenue management, and I'm here to guide you. Your room is a perishable product. For this reason, pricing and customer service remain an extremely important variable along with a well-organized revenue management strategy. Here's a look back at a very important post that explains revenue management and how to set it up. Your guest room is a perishable product. For this reason, pricing and consumer happiness remain extremely important variables. For you to consistently succeed, you need to understand revenue management and why it is important. In this edition, I will explain why daily audit reports are necessary for the success of any hospitality property and which reports are the most important. Welcome to another edition of Hospitality Property School. I am your instructor, Jerry McPherson. But let me start by asking you a couple of questions. Why did you want to become a hospitality property owner? Was it the idea of becoming an innkeeper or hotelier and greeting guests sounded appealing? Were you tired of the rat race and wanted to take control of your own destiny? Or, like most owners, you wanted to make money, or even better, to make more money in less time. Now, one of the main factors you need to be successful and to make more money in less time is for you to understand revenue management and why it is important. It is what propels hotels, resorts, inns, and bed and breakfast success. It does not matter the size of your property. A guest room is a perishable product since the number of guest rooms you have is defined. For this reason, pricing and customer happiness remains very important variables, which are the subject to hospitality property revenue management. Effectively managing rates and availability while watching all the different key performance markers takes talent and training. Branded hospitality property chains have departments that only focus on these reports, which result in a well-organized revenue management strategy. This is not the same for smaller properties because time and resources are limited, causing them to take a short-term approach to revenue management. Knowing how to understand the reports is an invaluable resource because they can help hospitality property owners make choices that will result in positive outcomes. Key Performance Indicators, or KPIs. You need to know and understand the following numbers to manage the revenue of your hospitality property. The occupancy rate, the average daily rate, or ADR, revenue per available room, or REVPAR, and total revenue, that's room sold. Okay, let's start with occupancy rate. This is one of the easiest metrics you can check. It is the percentage of occupied rooms compared to the total rooms over a certain period of time. In other words, occupancy equals rooms occupied divided by rooms available. Knowing these numbers will help you create the foundation of your revenue management strategy. Revenue per available room or the REVPAR. REVPAR is an operation metric which is analyzed by multiplying hospitality properties average daily room rate by its occupancy rate. You can also analyze REVPAR by dividing a hospitality property's revenue by the number of rooms or beds it has over a desired period of time. So in other words, REVPAR equals total room revenue divided by rooms available. REVPAR only uses room revenue, and it does not include other revenue streams such as upgrades or restaurant revenue. You can use this analysis to compare performance to other properties, but it could fluctuate greatly by property type. Average Daily Rate, or ADR. ADR calculates the average price per room and helps you determine how much money was brought in per room. You calculate ADR by taking the room revenue and dividing it by the number of paid rooms occupied. In other words, ADR equals room revenue divided by paid rooms occupied. Now, ADR only considers the rooms that were sold. It does not include vacant rooms. Now, other important metrics to keep in mind and to consider when creating reports include total rooms sold, 
total revenue, and revenue divided by categories, such as rooms, restaurants, spas, etc. After the break from our sponsor, I'm going to share with you techniques the big brands use and how you can replicate them. Do you have an independent hospitality property, a hotel, resort, inn, or bed and breakfast, and at times feel overwhelmed with all you have to do? Do you find yourself doing everything from checking guests in, to marketing, to looking for the right people to work for you, to cleaning toilets and everything in between? What happens when things become hectic? Do you feel stressed? Do you find it difficult to plan for the future when your only concern is how to get the rooms ready for the new arrivals? So what can you do? You have to get organized. You have to learn the strategies that will make you more effective. Wouldn't it be great to learn the techniques the big brand hospitality properties use and to work like you have a full organizational structure supporting you? If the answer is yes, your next question might be, how do I do this? Well, if you can make the time and have the extra funds, many universities and colleges offer hospitality training programs. Or you can learn from those who've gone through all your problems and see how they have streamlined their business. You can do this by becoming a member of the Hospitality Property School Group. The benefits of this group include helping your hospitality property to gain a clear vision, help set up your organizational structure, help set up your brand, help your social media strategy, help create an atmosphere to hire the right employees, help grow your business. The Hospitality Property School Group is designed to share knowledge, tips, and techniques to like-minded hospitality property owners and managers who might not have the benefit of having an entire organization to support them. If you are looking for ways to streamline your business, learn how to set up an organizational strategy, to hire and keep the right employees, and to increase your bookings and profit, then visit keystonehospitalitydevelopment.com forward slash membership hyphen site and explore the hospitality property group for an entire week for only $1. We guarantee you'll find tips and techniques that you can begin using right away to help start improving your bookings and profit. But don't just take my word for it. Explore yourself for an entire week for only $1. That's keystonehospitalitydevelopment.com forward slash membership hyphen site. You've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Before the break, I said I was going to share with you techniques the big brands use and how you can replicate them. It all starts with the approach to revenue management. You have to take a long-term approach. Use market information and analysis. One of the major differences between large branded hospitality properties and smaller independent properties is forecasting. Quite often, an independent property owner will look at the current month's revenue and forecast and might make decisions that will affect the entire year. A larger or branded hospitality property will take a look at how the current day and month play into a season, a quarter, and a year. Even though smaller independent hospitality properties do not have the same resources as larger properties, there are a few things you can do. Take a long-term approach. When you only look at your revenue strategy on a monthly basis, your property could be leaving money on the table. Larger properties generally look at revenue and rates by quarters and seasons, rather than months. When you take a more long-term approach to rates and revenues, you can more correctly react to current market conditions. For example, if you're in the high season and bookings are soft, you have an idea of what you need to make up in the following months. Or if your next month's bookings are higher than expected, you can raise the rates to make up for last month's lost revenues. If you handle your rates and revenue monthly, you are more likely to make thoughtless reactions. This means you might make needless changes that could end up costing you more than your current situation. For example, if your current bookings are too soft, your first reaction might be to reduce rates to increase demand. But if you take the whole season into consideration, you might realize that your last month's performance was pretty good and you need not worry about a fewer bookings at regular prices. More guests in your property doesn't always mean more revenue generated. This is why your ADR is so important. You can lower your rates and generate more demand, but you have to make sure your revenues and profits are still higher. 
The thing to remember here is that you should be looking at your rate and revenue targets by quarter or season instead of monthly. Every property is different, so there's no definite forecast structure that makes sense for every property. Use market information. Large branded hospitality properties have the benefit of knowledge. They have the resources to purchase market reports. That includes information about rates, availability, and projected demand. If you don't have the resources to buy your own market research reports, because they are expensive, you can check with your local tourism websites or office for up-to-date information. Tourism offices often publicly release information, on-demand forecasts, upcoming events, and other information that could be useful when planning out demand that influences rates. You want to make yourself aware of market trends, as well as local travel trends, to have the most success. Knowledge is power, and you want to prepare yourself as much as possible. Write analysis. Large branded hospitality properties write analysis every month that report on how rates and revenue performed. Now this could be very time consuming for any hospitality property owner. So you might want to consider just analyzing those months where you don't meet your goals. This is important because it means that you do not have to correctly read the market. Detailed reports containing how and why you missed your goals will help you prevent making those mistakes in the future. Analysis are particularly helpful for the same season next year when the market trends tend to copy each other. Without analysis, you might not remember exactly what happened a full year earlier. Once you're comfortable with putting together the analysis, you can start doing the same for the good months. If you make a decision and read your market correctly, you will likely want to remember what you did to replicate it in the future. By learning and understanding key performance indicators and following the three steps to revenue management, taking a long-term approach, using market information and analysis, you'll be able to operate your hospitality property like a large branded property and stay ahead of your competition. Are you staying with me so far? Let me know by leaving a short comment. Now, I'm going to take a look at the reports you need for your revenue management strategy. A healthy revenue management strategy requires daily upkeep. Many hospitality properties will conduct their reporting in late evening after most of the check-ins have arrived and the guests are tucked in for the night. Nightly reports will help you close out the present day and prepare you for the next. If you would like to see a sample of a shift audit report and a departure report, download your free examples below. Now here are a list of the reports you should run every night. A room and tax report. This report is fairly clear. The room and tax report lists all of your room's revenue and taxes for that day. You want to run this report daily in order to know exactly how much money is coming into your property each day and then use this report to identify possible issues. For example, you can compare it to your arrivals and departures and continuous reports to make sure that your revenue falls into the normal range for your existing occupancy. If you decide not to run this report, it could cause you problems. For example, if somebody did not check out but the revenue is posted, it will cause accounting problems later on. Instead of having to make an adjustment later, you can catch it immediately and lessen disorder later. Shift Audit Report Each front desk agent or user needs a shift audit report at the end of their shift on the day. The report includes a breakdown of every transaction sold by category and item. It should also include a breakdown of the methods for payment, including cash, credit cards, and any other means. This should be used for each front desk agent or user to balance their daily shift by checking and balancing each revenue and cost source. The shift audit report needs to include cashier or user ID, category or department breakdown, and payment type breakdown. On top, the transaction should be sorted by category and item. After each item, there is a subtotal and under each category is a department grand total. Then there's a payment section that lays out each form of accepted payments. You will then have the grand totals for both departments to compare to the payments grand totals. Make sure they match. 
If the grand totals do not match, you'll be able to find where the payment discrepancy occurred with these reports. If these daily audit reports are not completed by staff, it could create accounting problems in the future. These reports allow you to see patterns, track them over time, and identify the problems when they occur. It also helps keep employees in check. A daily report will show discrepancies in cash flow or inventory levels. If there is missing cash or missing inventory, you'll know exactly who was in charge during that time period. Daily audits will help you easily create monthly reports, which will help your quarterly reports, which will then help your yearly reports, and beyond. Departure Reports Every night, your night manager or auditor should create two departure reports, one for the present day and one for the next day. The present day departures will show everyone who was supposed to check out that day. This will help identify any guests that didn't check out and identify other possible issues such as overbookings. Your next day departure report helps your staff prepare for the next day's departures. Your front desk needs to know which rooms will be vacant and available for incoming reservations and the cleaning staff will need to take the necessary steps to preparing the rooms. Each report should include the following. Room assignment, reservation and confirmation number, guest's name, arrival date, departure date, room status, in-house or checkout, and balance. To see an example of a departure report, visit this post at keystonehospitalitydevelopment.com forward slash khdc067. If nightly departure forms are not done, you could put yourself at a risk for overbookings. Arrival reports. The night manager or auditor should also produce the arrivals report that includes the list of arrivals for the upcoming day and the basic information, such as reservations and confirmation number, guest name, arrival date, departure date, number of nights, room type booked, and the room assignment. This report helps you identify which guests have been assigned rooms and those who have not. You have to make sure that the assigned rooms will be open to the guests when they are scheduled to check in and assign where unassigned guests will stay. Use the departure reports to ensure the arrivals list match up and make the necessary changes. The arrivals report also helps you keep track of no-shows. If a guest doesn't check in and cancels a reservation, your report will show it. You can then make the necessary changes in your property management system so your daily audits and departure reports remain accurate. Arrivals report help prevent overbookings while enabling you to plan out the daily logistics. Housekeeping report. The housekeeping report shows the property's room number, front desk status, housekeeping status, departure dates, and unit type. This enables the front desk and housekeeping staff to know which rooms have to be cleaned and by when. Housekeepers need to know which rooms are being checked out so they can prepare to replace the bed clothes, towels, amenities, etc. This might not be necessary for smaller inns or bed and breakfasts. Without this report, properties run a risk of check-in delays because the rooms are not cleaned. Also, if guests have not checked out by the allocated time, housekeeping will know to contact the front desk and get the problem sorted out. Continuous report. A continuous report helps you keep track of the guests who have extended their stay. When a guest extends their stay, often a new reservation will have to be created. It is also possible that a continuous reservation might mean the rate per night is different. An accurate room rate needs to be reported to your room and tax report so all is correct. If you don't have a completed continuous report, you run the risk of assigning arriving guests to an occupied room. These six reports will help you keep track of your daily revenue and effectively manage your reservations. Once you have these reports running effectively, you're ready for the next step. The following reports will give your hospitality property a competitive advantage. Sell Strategy Report The Sell Strategy Report includes monthly analysis, market research, customer segment performance, including ADR and RevPAR. A large branded hospitality property will divide their guests by group in order to see who is the most profitable and target them appropriately. Daily Pickup Report 
This report shows the daily rates and ADR for any given day and is generally run every day to keep prices active. It helps the revenue management team analyze which rates are selling and not selling for any given day and how to proceed. If the rates are meeting their goals and projections, they know they're on the right track. But if not, they can make corrections in real time. Conclusion Effectively managing your revenue when you're an independent hospitality property can be difficult. But by taking a long-term look at your revenue management strategy and use all the available information with these few reports to your advantage, you can act like the big boys while staying small. Have you heard about our six-day challenge? If you're interested in learning more tips or techniques for operating a hospitality property, I highly recommend you join. And it's 100% free. In this series, we'll cover determining what type of owner or manager you are, how to set up an organizational structure, secrets to great customer service, how to market effectively, how to benefit from social media, and how to make your guests want to return. It's important as a hospitality property owner or manager that you never stop learning. So sign up below. Now, if you like this video, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you know someone who might benefit from the video, please feel free to share it. You can support this free podcast by leaving us a review and giving us a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts or wherever you happen to be listening to it. Every review helps more people find the podcast. Make sure to hit that like button. I appreciate the feedback. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for your interest, and let's continue to work together to put heads in your beds. Until next time, have a fun day. We will see you next time, right here in Hospitality Property School.